Welcome back everybody, this is Hike the Gaming Channel, my name is Hike, and today we are talking about a great topic, lag, and what types of lags there are, and what class to use, and how do I deal with lag, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that, but first I'm going to ask you to leave me the best story of lag and how it messed you up, a lot cost you dogs or swarm in the comments, just because I'm curious, I have a lot of stories that I get pissed off about when I die, I'm one away from a swarm and it was because of lag or something like that. But first of all, before we get started talking about the class to use during lag, I want to tell you about what types of lags they are. So let's get started with original lag. What is original lag? We had original lag in Black Ops 1, where the, de depending on how many bars you have, it's how bad your connection is to the host. So in Black Ops 1, if you had two bars, that meant you were lagging and you were going to have a bad game, and it was because the host uh, was far away from you. That meant if you and the enemy are running around the corner at the same exact time and you see each other at the same exact time and you both of you start shooting at the same exact time, it wasn't at the same exact time. The enemy saw you first, the enemy's bullets shot out first, it's because he was closer to the host because he had four bars, you were further away from the host because you had two bars and the enemy had the advantage by, I don't know, I want to say 50 milliseconds, which is, I know not much, but I think it's a bullet. Um, don't quote me on a number, but that's what it was. The enemy had an advantage because they were at four bars. So that's original lag. Okay, what's uh, the new type of lag? The new type of lag is called lag compensation. So what the game creators try to do is they try to compensate for the original lag by creating lag compensation. This means, let's say you have a four bar and the enemy has two bar. Uh, the uh, game, uh, the host PlayStation will uh, intentionally slow you down to make things even. That's what lag compensation is. The game, the host computer uh, PlayStation says, you know what? You have four bars, the enemy has two bars, I'm going to do this calculation and determine that you have to be a little bit slower than an enemy uh, to make everything even. Uh, they try to do this to fix the game for people who have a bad internet connection or they play far away from the host and you can understand what they're, why they're doing this to make things even and fair. But what happens sometimes to time, maybe you know, one out of ten times, maybe more, is um, Let's say you have a four bar, the enemy has a two bar, and for some reason the host computer slows you down way down. So now the enemy with a two bar or one bar has the advantage they see you first. So let's try this example again. You're coming around a corner at the same exact time as the enemy is coming around the corner. You have a four bar, the enemy has two bar, you both come around the corner and you both start shooting at the same time. Technically, that's what happened, but not really. What really happened is, uh, so you both came around the corner at the same exact time, you both started shooting at the same exact time, but no, since you are at four bar connection and the enemy is at two bar connection, the game says, wait, he's gonna be at a disadvantage, so let me slow the guy with a four bars connection down. So technically, you know, you guys come at the same exact time and, and you guys see each other at the same time, but the host PlayStation actually slows you down with four bars to make things even for the guy at two bars. So he is gonna uh, he is gonna see you first. He's gonna shoot first, and most likely he's gonna kill you first. So that's what happens. So how can you actually deal with this? How can you deal with original lag? How can you deal with lag compensation? Uh, this is why I have this class. So uh, let's start with the primary uh, weapon on this class. The primary weapon for a lag class has to be a Remington. And I'll tell you why, but before I tell you, uh, let me know in the comments if you think using a Remington is a noob move. I don't think so, I think it's a pretty difficult shotgun to use, especially of its short range, so depending on the map, it can be really difficult to use. But let me know in the comments, I'm really curious to see what you guys think. So why do you need a Remington uh, for a lag class, okay? So let's use the example where uh, you and the enemy are using the same exact MP7, same exact classes, you both run around the corner same exact time, but you are lagging and the enemy isn't, okay? So with the MP7, you need five shots to kill in this scenario, okay? So you run around the corner, the enemy sees you first because you're lagging and they start shooting. So by the time you see him, the enemy already has one or two rounds into you from his MP7. Cool? Cool. And if you start shooting with your MP7, you already at a disadvantage and you're going to lose the fight because the enemy saw you first because of lag and he started shooting you first. Okay, got that done? Okay. Now let's say you have your lag class. Let's say you have a Remington for your primary. So the same exact scenario, you and the enemy are coming around the corner, uh, you're lagging. 
Uh, but the enemy has an MP7 and you have a Remington. Okay, so the enemy sees you first. They start shooting you first. They have two rounds in you by the time you get your first shot off with a Remington. And here's the difference. A Remington is a one-shot kill. So like previously where you had an MP7 and you had to get five rounds into the enemy to kill him, now you have a Remington. So by the time the enemy has to put five shots in five bullets into you, you get one shot off with your Remington and you kill him. That's why I use the Remington for my lag compensation. I hope that made sense. So what attachment should you use for your Remington? If you're using a Remington class and you don't have long barrel, you're making a big mistake. Uh, the long barrel in this class is so important because the biggest disadvantage for the uh, shotgun class is its range. The Remington has a terrible range, uh, so the long barrel first of all improves your range which is a big positive and it also improves uh, your uh, damage. And where, we, where we're trying to have a one shot kill range and dumb damage are very important, so for this class you have to have the long barrel. The second uh, attachment I suggest you have is the laser sight. What the laser sight does, it improves the pattern of the bullet, uh, not of the bullets, but of the shotgun pellets that have been fired. So uh, if you have, uh, if you don't have the laser sight and you shoot from the hip, you're gonna have a wider pattern, and you it might take you two rounds to kill the enemy. And there's no point for that because in this in, for this class for lack compensation, you have to have a one shot kill to be able to win. Okay, so those two attachments are a must. For your secondary, I suggest you have a pistol. In this case, I'm running the B23R uh, just because I was trying to get it gold. But I love the TAC 45. It's got great damage. It can kill an enemy with three bullets uh, in medium range, I think, and five bullets at long range. So it's a great weapon. So you can have the B23R, the TAC 45. And the reason you want to have a secondary a pistol so you can cover your long range fights. You see me switch to uh, my pistol all the time when I'm going long range. You see me switching to my shotgun when I'm going into a building or short range uh, fights. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to compensate for the short range of the shotgun with using a pistol. And most of the time it helps me out a ton. So definitely suggest you have a pistol. You don't need a long barrel. The reason I had a long barrel on the B23R because I knew I was going to get into a, a lot of long range fights. But instead of a long uh, barrel on your pistol, I suggest you have a, a tactical like a flash or a concussion. Uh, because what that's going to do is, let's say you're undercover, you're being shot uh, from two uh, locations. The concussion or the flash is going to give you the time to reload if you need to reload, to recover if you need to recover. And it's going to help you get out of trouble. That's why I run flash all the time. It's my, oops, I'm in trouble. What am I going to do? <laughs> uh, thing. So whenever I'm in trouble, I throw a flash. Or whenever I have to cover a, lo a big wide space, with a bunch of snipers or if I want to clear out a room uh, a flash is a must so instead of the long barrel on your pistol I would suggest you go with a flash uh, attack 45 does a near long barrel for its long range shots so um, a flash would be definitely more uh, more useful as far as perks uh, I love lightweight and especially using a shotgun you're gonna be running around a lot you have to move fast you have to jump out of windows and lightweight will uh, let you do that it'll make your speed a little faster it'll also let you jump out of windows with no damage which is very very important but if I had to choose between lightweight and hardline for me a hardline is a must that means I have to take less risk and work less to get the swarms for example I think it improves your uh, uh, it lets you get to your score streak about 20 or 25 percent faster, so it's definitely a must for me. So if you had to pick between a uh, hardline and lightweight, I suggest you pick hardline. It's a lot more beneficial as far as score streaks, which what we're trying to get in most games, right? Score streaks. Anyway, so that definitely toughness is a must for your pistol. For your shotgun, it's not that important. So if you don't want to run toughness, I would suggest you run scavenger. But let's say you get in a long range fight with your pistol uh, and the enemy starts shooting you long range and if you don't have toughness, the bullets are going to go over the head of the enemy because you're shooting up since they're shooting you. So uh, as far as the pistol is concerned, you got to have toughness. But as far as the shotgun is concerned, you don't need toughness. So it's up to you what you use, but I like toughness. Dexterity is a must. Remember guys, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a lag class. So we're trying to put a round into the enemy as fast as we can because we're lagging. So with Dexterity, what it does is it lets you bring the gun up from a full sprint faster. 
So what that means? That means you can get the first shot off faster. So it's a must to have in a lag class. If you run anything else besides dexterity in this class, you don't have a lag class, you have something else. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. But if you're trying to create a lag class, you gotta have dexterity so you can bring up your gun faster, so you can shoot off faster to compensate for the lag that the game is giving you. I hope that made sense. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really like this class. I use it every single time. I notice I'm lagging and it doesn't matter what map it is. Uh, I do suggest you don't use it on uh, bigger maps. Uh, sometimes, you know, like, um, uh, shoot, I can't remember, but try not to use it on a really long range maps just because a shotgun is not going to do anything to you. At that point, I say you're just in a bad luck. Anyway, let, you, let me know what you guys think in the comments about the class. Uh, let me know if you guys like it after using it. I'm really curious to see your opinion about it. So definitely let me know. If you're new here, please subscribe give me a like i work pretty hard on this video and i'll catch you guys later bye everybody <laughs>